Darian. Just wanted to stop and do a quick review of the Avatar Last Airbender Lord Ozai. So yes, this figure I didn't even know existed. Um, I didn't find out until later on, maybe 2013, 2014, and they stopped making these a long time ago. Um, this figure is very difficult to come by. Um, it wasn't released in the States. It was released someplace overseas. I got this from England. I've had it in the attic for a couple of couple of years. So I'm going to break some of these out and actually do a review on them. But um, Laura Ozai was Zuko's dad. Laura Ozai's voice was played by Mark Hamill, who's Luke Skywalker and the Joker in all the Arkham Asylum games. Uh, this is one of his, he did voiceover voices for, uh, did the voice for Laura Ozai here. Um, this figure is very difficult to come by, like I said. Um, it, I don't know why they, they didn't actually uh, do production or have them have the toy line actually here in the States. Uh, it's beyond me. And why did it make any female characters? Again, beyond me, because Toph was awesome. I like Katara also. Um, but they didn't. So here you got Zuko here. I mean, not Zuko. You got Laura Ozai, Zuko's father. Uh, you got articulation in the arms, the elbows. Um, they turn, rotate. The head can't move that much because of the hair. You got you have uh, articulation in the waist. Legs go out. Come back. Feet can go down. Actually, the feet, the the calf can rotate also. So there's a a lot of articulation in this in these figures um, and uh, I don't do too much with this one because this one's so hard to find it's it's very rare uh, I've never seen one in an actual box before and it's always been uh, out and loose I've seen maybe three or four in the last I don't know seven or eight years I don't know how many people have this figure but if they do I'm sure they're pretty happy that they do um, because Laura Ozai was a pretty cool character. He was bad, but he was a cool character and uh, very difficult to find. Let me show you the back of him. There's the back of him. Uh, close up. There's the crown, hair, the vest, and I believe this is stamped 2006 on there. I gotta get a magnifying glass. I think it's 2006 or 2008, but I believe it's 2006. Um, it might be 2008 because that would make more sense, but anyway. This is the back of the character figure. I'm going to show you. Let's get a close up of his, his face. There we go. Looks just like the cartoon uh, with the beard and the look on his face and whatnot. It's basically the same. I mean, look at that. He was not messing around. Um, if you get a chance to watch Avatar Last Airbender, if you haven't seen it, and I'm not talking about that goofy movie where his name is Ong. And they did all this goofy, you got to have fire next to you in order to bend fire and so on. These guys could come for, use chief for their fire and they didn't need to have it next to them. Um, the storyline was great. It started off kind of Harry Potter-ish. It got serious towards the towards the end of the uh, end of the series when he had to go ahead and challenge Laura Ozai, which was awesome. It was an awesome fight. You can find that on YouTube. But if you have a chance to get the DVDs, it's definitely worth watching. Um, a lot of people didn't know that they actually made these toys for... Um, this toy line for this uh, cartoon, but there's Boomy, there's uh, Sokka, there's Zuko, and a bunch of different variations. Um, Aang and a bunch of different different variations, whether it be Spirit Aang, um, him and Avatar State, things of that nature. So, if you have a chance to pick these figures, you got to take a, take a look at them. I'm sure it'll bring back some of your childhood if you if you watch this. Um, I just got I had gotten into it because I thought it was just a great series. Great, great, uh, great series, and they made very, very nice toys. So this, just the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, uh, a review on some of the ones I picked up from a thrift store, but I also have the same ones in boxes and whatnot, and I'm going to do a review on the Fire series that they only uh, release in Europe and Brazil. I have a couple of the Fire series. I'm missing, like, maybe one, um, but uh, they're definitely almost impossible to find, um, including my Earth Kingdom Ang. Which is a really cool action figure, which I will show you guys. That's my 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 first. That's my favorite. This is my second favorite, but can't go wrong with Lord Ozai. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this real briefly. You guys have a great night, and again, this is Darren from Attic Toys. See you soon.